よしこれで最後のねじ止めだセルフに任せる Welcome back to episode 12 of Do It Yourself. This is the final episode of the season. It is potentially the final episode of the series. The title for the episode is DIY means friendship always and forever. I do like how they tried to highlight the DIY in that title. She came a long way from the klutzy, accident prone girl we knew earlier in the season. Serifu puts the last screw in perfectly. She also gave a big hug to Pudding. The girls spend some time appreciating the completion of the treehouse and everybody's contributions to it. s e r a f u added some crooked screws and gaps. Takumi had her amazing stained glass window. Shoboko made the shells. Ray completed the wall slats and the roof shingles. Pudding made the lampshade out of shells and glass. She built the ceiling frame. To fully celebrate this accomplishment, they had an amazing lunch. This party was also our farewell to Juliet, Queen Elizabeth VIII. Even the woodpecker made an appearance. The girls all gave farewell presents to Javako. Haruka sensei gave the kombu. s e r f r e drew a picture and Pudding made the frame. Ray gave a complete set of the Sunflower Girls manga. Takumi gave the full set of Sun Girls novels. <laughs> s e r f r e ambushed Javako with a nice hug. Like most of us that watched the key anime, we weren't crying. It was the peppers we had for lunch. Though I didn't see Jevako with a pepper for her lunch. I'm excited about what Jevako said there because that opens the door if there ever is a season two that she will be back in it. The girls also faced the reality that they do not have enough members for school funding, but they knew because of what they experienced through this semester that they can actually fund themselves. At the end of the party, two girls came to check out the tree hatch, which is the exact number they need for funding. Now they just need to get them to join. Jamako finished packing up her suitcases. Pudding's mom gave her more s u k a n b u a pat on the head, and an open invitation back. Good job! <laughs> Her dad was depressed since her mom died and basically stopped being a dad. She went to Japan to get away from everything at home. She's really excited to go home to tell her dad about her experiences in Japan, about building the treehouse. Maybe this can help her dad remember the good times. With all this truthfulness, Jabuko asks Pudding why she is always a dare. Karagi san took this moment to ask for a new operating system. He actually got it. It was really cool. He did say more and his voice sounded different. There goes our Javako. She flies away and took my heart away with her. I love this shot of Mama Serfu and all the animals just looking up into the sky, wishing Javako a farewell. Pudding took Serfu back to the clubhouse to finish two more projects. First was a swinging bench. The wood would come from the already scavenged clubhouse and the bench from back in the day. They really did a number on that clubhouse. Hopefully, they replaced the wood eventually. We got to see the build take place. Serfu looks like she put the screws in perfectly. Perfectly, they stained the bench and hung it on the tree. Pudding took a page from Javako and decided to go honest about her feelings. I honestly didn't know what role Pudding was playing this whole time. Was it that of a friend or a big sister? She was upset that Serifu felt like her help wasn't needed now that she was in middle school and now progressively in the high school. Serifu didn't remember that moment in middle school. Pudding thought Serifu didn't have it anymore, but she did. She said that it was a precious treasure of hers that is sitting in a box in her room. <laughs> I love how the series concluded by showing the completed treehouse and the picture frame of all the members. I'm going to miss this anime for so many different reasons. 
This is a slice of life which was easy going in a sea of action and crazy anime happening. It also made me think during this Christmas and holiday season about family and friends. I imagine myself just sitting in a field, just doing nothing, looking at an amazing view. That's what I got from this. Them sitting on the bench, just staring off in the distance and enjoying the company of the loved ones. I feel like the relationships, the art, the love into this anime is something worth remembering. If there is no season 2, I'll be sad but not heartbroken. The series ended in a perfect way for me. Thank you for taking this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed the series as much as I did.